Hey, beautiful people. I hope you all are having an awesome day. It's Courtney. Today, I'm going to be doing a 100% honest underrated slime shop video for you guys. And before we hop into it, had to throw out a little video course. I do have a successful slime shop video course, and it's a little workshop where it's everything you need to know about starting your own slime shop, getting more sales, where I get my supplies. It is everything that I know myself. I put it into a video course format. So I will link it down below for you guys and also my slime shop is stocked i have new harry potter slimes i have some new halloween and fall slimes that it just came out and there's going to be more coming soon so i'll link my slime shop down below definitely make sure to check it out and let's hop into it so these are the rest of my retro slime company slimes if you watch my my video a couple of videos back it was my insane halloween unboxing video and these were the rest of the slimes in the package and you guys said you wanted a part two so i made it in a separate video so let's get started this one is called roller boogie and it's inspired and scented like mellow yellow which i love the little lime and lemon beam like i was about to call them fema slices <laughs> their charms on top and this slime is a really awesome some icy slime so I will say it's very different from every icy slime I've tried it's more almost like a clear cloud slime which is really really cool I really like the texture of this and the scent is awesome p.s. I was doing a little home renovating and the plaster stuff got stuck on my nails and I could not get them off so apologies for that I know I'll get a few comments on it but anyways this slime was really awesome it fluffed up and was super sizzly I really really enjoyed it and the scent was really nice as well so this was just a really unique texture it did have some fallout on my hands nothing too crazy but the texture more than made up for it I really loved it and as always I will link this slime shop down below for you guys and I also have a 10% off code that you could use if you want to snatch any of their slimes which i'm a huge fan of retro slime company they have some really good slimes i've reviewed them quite a few times now and they just have such unique slimes packaging labels all of that like i love the whole experience with their slime shop This next slime is called Canary Island and this one is scented like brown sugar and fig scent from Bath and Body Works and this scent is amazing. I've never smelt it from Bath and Body Works but it was so good. So this was just kind of a brown slime. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be a marbled. It looks like there could have been two colors mixed in once upon a time but this was just a really thick and glossy slime. Really great for bubble pops, really great to hold. And okay, I did just double check on their website. This is just the color it was supposed to be. It wasn't mixed. I think once I just mixed it in all together, some of the food coloring or whatever might have separated a little, a little bit. Um, but this was a super thick, super glossy, great for poking, great for bubble pops and ASMR. So I love their thick and glossy texture. It is really nice. And this scent was amazing. This next slime is called I Heard It Through the Grapevine and it came with their homemade, custom made raisin charms, which I love. Their charms are very soft and squishy, so they don't like poke you and you could add them into their slimes and it works really well. So I really enjoy them. And this is like a white glue slushy bead slime and I loved it. I'm always saying I wanna see more and more textures from them and they brought it this time with the texture game. I absolutely love this. This was one of my favorites and the scent was very light on this one. Nothing too crazy or overpowering. I couldn't pick up on it too much but the texture was on point. It felt like it definitely had some clay in there and it was just thick and the slushy beads added a really nice texture to it. So the slime was definitely one of my favorites.
this next slime is called sassafras and this is part of their scratch and sniff collection so this was a clear glue based and then more of like a clay top on it and of course like it looks like it is scented just like root beer the smell the scent was on point really nice and i loved mixing this one together it was so satisfying and so fun and then the end result was just a nice thick slime of course with the clear slime and the clay it made a really nice kind of sizzly texture and if you like root beer you will love this one and like i mentioned it's a scratch and sniff slime and all of their slimes have a little backstory on their labels and why they chose this slime a little history of it and i love love that part. I think it's super cool. This next one is called Curly Pudding and it's in a banana pudding inspired slime. So it comes with all these banana Fimo slices and this really cute banana charm as well, which it looks so realistic. It's super cute. So the banana scent on this is very, very faint, which I actually like that it wasn't overpowering because I'm not a huge banana person, honestly. Um, so I could just enjoy the aesthetics of this one without like too much overwhelming banana scent so I did enjoy that this was another very thick holdable slime felt like there would be some clay in here and just overall a nice slime as well you guys know I love thick slimes and retro slime company all their slimes are usually very thick very holdable and just super satisfying to play with so I really enjoyed this one This next slime is called Grape Ape Crackle, and this was a really, really cool concept. I've never seen anything like it. So it's kind of like Pop Rock inspired. So they're not real Pop Rocks in it, but the slime actually sizzles, which is so cool. They use some kind of soap product in it that makes it very very sizzly and it was just the coolest thing to mix it and it sounds literally just like pop rock so i thought this was super cool now my only complaint is whatever the soap product is it definitely makes the slime melt as you play with it because they did send me two of the little crackle things so i got to experience the crackle twice and show it to you guys so here i'm putting in the, this one and it definitely made it melt even more so I did have to go in and activate it with one it still kind of melted but two definitely made it melt which they normally don't come with two just throwing it out there the product in general just kind of made it a little bit sticky but the concept was so so cool I've never seen anything like it And last but not least, we have this Daddy O's slime. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this one wasn't my favorite. Um, it did have a very, like, tomato scent to it, which is crazy. I love weird and different and savory scents, so I did really like that. But the texture on this clear slime was a little, like, you could see it rips a little bit when you stretch it and it did leave some of that clear residue from the slime on my hands as I played with it, which is why I typically am not a huge fan of clear slimes. So if you do like clear slime, very cool concept, really cool savory scent, just not my personal favorite out of the bunch. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, smash that like button. If you want to see even more videos, definitely make sure to check out my vlog channel. I've been posting over there a ton. And anyways, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.